water hammer. So generally for our purposes, water hammer is when you stop flowing water suddenly. Uh, like you throw a cord turn valve really quickly, that is going to create some water hammer. Uh, even if that water hammer is not destructive, it is there and it does have an effect on things. So it uh, it sends a surge of shock waves back along the length of the water line or hose lay very quickly and produces vibrations, can be destructive, may increase pressure by four times or even more. Uh, the other kind of water hammer is uh, like pushing water hammer. You throw something open really quickly and, and there could be something in your hose lay. It's not typically as much of a problem for us. Um, we're just not moving enough volume and, and pressure for it to be huge. And uh, generally even, even this kind of water hammer that we're talking about here where we suddenly stop the flow of water doesn't tend to always be destructive because our our volumes tend to stay low but it does send a spike and uh it, it could potentially cause damage and that damage could be cumulative so keep in mind uh common cause can be a vehicle driving over your uh your charge lines and that can send a pretty significant water hammer both directions especially if you're moving high volume the more volume you're moving the the more energy is immediately stopped and uh, your water hammer is going to be increased, the effect of it's going to be increased. So open and close valve slowly. That's, that's the key. That's all it really takes. There is a, you know, bit of a descriptor. Notice how when you slam that closed valve from the open moving water, it sends all the shock wave. Well, picture of effect. It's the only pictures I could find, but uh, you know those pipes were water hammered and they broke. They're probably old too, but it doesn't really matter if they're old. I mean, the one on the left is made of wood, for heaven's sake. Um, even though they're old, it, still you don't want to water hammer, or maybe even especially you don't want to water hammer them. Um, you know, the town I live in just recently replaced its its wooden water lines so those kinds of things are out there and we do have a tendency to end up in uh <clears throat> in remote locations where things may be old so if you're plugged into some sort of a system that isn't your own watch out for a water hammer but even watch out for water hammer on your own equipment it is going to have an effect and it's going to find those uh weak links and and break them it's a good little demonstration here of water hammer. He slams that valve closed and he's moving pretty low, uh, pretty low volume and it sends a significant spike in PSI to over 300 PSI. And he's probably only moving maybe 15, 20 gallons a minute. I remember correctly, it actually broke his gauge. Okay, that's, uh, that's what I got for water hammer. Uh, it's kind of down and dirty, but uh, it's pretty simple. Try to avoid it. Don't drive over hoses. Open, close valves, close slowly.